TitleMatchNetwork.com. See, I broke in, like when I was in Kansas City and stuff like that, I was doing jobs for guys like Rufus R. Jones, who was probably 60 then, and I was jacked up about 290. And, it, and Rufus would beat me with two freight trains and a headbutt, you know, two tackles yeah. and a headbutt. And it took him six seconds to get down and cover me. <laughs> so I knew early on it was fake. I I always knew it was fake. I never had a problem with that. And I used to get in trouble in WCW for doing jobs for guys. Like, in fact, I did. We were uh, I wrestled Chris Jericho in the Spectrum in Philly. And it was it was leading into a match against L me against Lex Luger at Halloween Havoc. And Larry Zbysko was going to be the special referee. And Larry was announcing on Nitro that night. So Bischoff told me to just go out there, squash Jericho, keep hitting him with your finish until Zbysko comes to the ring, square off with Zbysko, you know, get something and get what you can out of it, then roll out of the ring. So I went to Chris and said, Chris, how many times have you been in the spectrum? He went, never. I said, I've been here 200 times. And Philly's a... A tough town. I mean, it's a great town, but I mean, they they ain't gonna like Lionheart Chris Jericho. Yeah. So I said, man, the only way we're gonna get any kind of reaction is if you beat me. I said, think of some cool way to beat me out of my finish. I said, come tell me later. Don't tell anyone. And if anybody says anything to you after the match, tell them it was Hall's idea, and I'll take all the heat. So we did it, and he Chris was smart. I picked him up like this for my finish. He kicked his feet off the turnbuckle, small package, me one, two, three. Then I hammered him. Then, ah. I, then I beat him on my finish. Then Larry came. We did the angle. I thought it was way better. And when I came back to the locker room, Bischoff goes, didn't I tell you to go over? And I went, you didn't like it? Yeah, but didn't I tell you to go over? I said, you tell me you didn't like what I just did? I'm not saying I didn't like it because Bischoff and me used to, he, you know, we, we had a crazy relationship. But, he so said, I didn't say I didn't like it, but I thought I told you to go over. I said, man, I just thought it was my job to make this segment as entertaining as I could. Yeah. Oh, just never mind. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I don't know, man. I think I think it's it's television. You're supposed to make it as exciting as you can. And if, if you have to, you know, I felt the right thing to do that night in Philadelphia was for me to lose, to get a reaction. Because I want my segment to be exciting and entertaining. Yeah. And I already knew that I had Larry Zbysko involved in it, which is a big deal. And I'm going into an angle against Lex Luger, who's a major babyface. And we're going into a pay-per-view. So I wanted my segment to be exciting. And I felt that was the right thing to do. You know, I'm not, I think I was, at that point in WCW, I was probably the highest paid job guy in the history of the business. <laughs> Did Roddy Piper try and uh, go after you guys and try and fight you guys after a match one night? No. No, because there was a story that Piper went in the locker room and and had words with you guys. And... The first time I remember Piper was it was around the, it was prior to it was right before Christmas one year we were making Georgia doing a nitro and we fed Piper all night long even when we went off the air me and kid just kept feeding him till he blew up and then we'd <laughs> roll back out and we I let the kid I said you want to do it some more and we went well it is Roddy Piper. We went back in and just bing, 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 just making them because it was like, wow, it's Roddy Piper. Yeah. The only heat I remember having with Piper was Hulk saw me and Kev doing jobs for everybody all the time and it not hurting us. Like, we, we'd do jobs for guys, then we'd lie about it. We'd go, ah, beat his ass. <laughs> and well, no, you didn't, you lost, because I learned that from Kevin Sullivan. He would lose, and then he'd say, no, nah, beat him. And I'd be sitting at home like a Mark going, no, you didn't. <laughs> so that's what I learned is heels lie. Like you lose, put the guy over, then lie about it. So Hulk saw us doing that. So we talked Hulk, who doesn't do jobs, into letting Piper beat him at Starcade in Nashville with a sleeper. So Hulk put Piper over. He was so excited when we got in a limo that night, go back to the hotel, that he couldn't stop. He was, he was so excited, it made me feel great to see Hulk that happy. Yeah. Because he did a job and he was happy. And we were going, yeah, see, it's fun. It doesn't even matter, man. Like, we're still the shit. We lost. Did you hear the people? Like, we put Piper over, man. Do you hear the people? Because if we didn't put him over, we didn't do a DQ or something. No, man. We're doing a whole Pat Patterson, Kurt Henning click idea. You're going to make the guy make him, man. He's going to beat you. Take his finish. Not some schoolboy or small pack. But no, man, let him beat you with his finish. So the only remember friction I had was, 
When it came time for Piper to put Savage over in San Francisco at Super Bowl one time, they had to do the, you know, he wouldn't he wouldn't take the elbow drop. You know, he had to uh, get hit with the tape, you know, the brass tape, mm. the brass tape knuckles. And I remember standing in the, I was, me and Hulk were standing in the hotel bar and Piper and Bischoff were standing at another little table and I was buzzing and I was pissed off and I with Piper all night. I said, hey, Piper, I said, what's that tape do? I said, give you a rash or something? I said, you're too fucking much. I said, Hulk puts you over and you won't put Savage over? I said, I used to respect you. I thought, I think you're a jabroni. I said, I can't believe you, man. What is it, real? What, are we too close to Portland? I mean, I just went on and on and on. And the one thing I remember was Bischoff looking at me going, stop it, stop it. (laughs) 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 And, uh, and, and Hogan tell me later, he goes, wow, brother, no one's ever stuck up for me before. You know, because Hulk is always the man, so no one was ever watching his back, you know. Yeah. I said, you know, Hulk does a job for you. You won't do a job for Savage? I said, I don't get it, man. I said, what makes you so special? You know, I just totally, I don't know. I remember the, going into that angle. They did a thing that where Piper stayed in Alcatraz for a week because the pay-per-view was in San Francisco at the Cow Palace. And I said, I said, well, you must have been real popular at Alcatraz. I said, I bet you got a lot of candy bars and cigarettes you here. Yeah, I just, I just, I really had a fun. That, that's the only thing I can remember about Roddy being pissed off at. But we, that blew over because he knew he was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't remember him ever coming after us because if he'd come after us, he'd got his ass kicked. TitleMatchNetwork.com